Greetings, this is Time Rider at Chapter 4. What you're looking at here is the number 55B 1963 Ford Fairlane police car. It is the first Matchbox police car ever released. It came out with both gray and black wheels. It was also released in dark blue and metallic blue with varying shades of each available on the market today. It's kind of a difficult car to find cheaply. And tonight I'm going to do a restoration. This is my version of the 55B Ford Fairlane police car. At least that's what it says on the bottom plate. But I gotta believe back in the 60s they were called cruisers. I paid $12.50 for this particular car. It was one that I really wanted to do, and it's also one that it's a little tougher to find. I know a lot of people consider these to be 1 64th scale, but in actuality this one is 1 80th scale. I'll include a link in the description as to the pocket scales listed by Matchbox. This is going to be kind of a shorter video. Unfortunately, there were a lot of things that happened while I was doing this particular car that caused it to take well over a week and a half to produce. But anyway, sit back and hopefully enjoy. It was fortunate for me that at that moment a strong wind came along and blew the car apart. So I was able to just put it right onto a hunk of cardboard and shoot it up with some paint stripper. And like we've done so many times, now it's time for a little bit of a bath to get the paint off. It was metal flake paint so it didn't come off very easy. In fact, as I recall, I had to put stripper on it a couple of three times before I actually got the paint off. The casting had a lot of very fine ridges and lines that needed to be cleaned up. I decided to use my rotary tool with a soft wire brush. There was all the ridges in the grill, very pronounced door lines, and actually there was quite a bit of corrosion on this particular model. The corrosion was bad enough that I decided to go after the surface with some 4 aught steel wool. The primer I used was uh, Tamiya Gray. Uh, and I can't say enough about the Tamiya primers, of course, like I've said before. You've heard me say that a whole bunch of times. The paint that I mixed, the paint that I mixed for this particular project was a combination of X13 metallic blue, quite a bit of X2 white, and a little bit of X14 sky blue to uh, get some of the edge off of that metallic blue. And I had a boatload of problems shooting this combination. My airbrush plugged up a couple of times but eventually uh, I was able to get it all to work. I actually had a lot of stops and starts with this and I'll tell you nothing made me happier than when I was able to put paint on this and have it actually lay on the way it should. Uh, I wound up cleaning the airbrush a couple of times and I even put in a new uh, a new needle. I was really happy with the color. I thought I had matched it pretty closely. So 
So then yet another problem, the decals that I ordered that were advertised as fitting this car were wrong. They were supposed to be on a white background and they weren't. So what I actually wound up doing was taping off the doors and the hood and painting them white and using the decals that I had in hand. I mean, it, it really wasn't even worth returning them because by the time I got done with any shipping that I would have had to pay it, it would have really been just a lost cause. I did contact the company and let them know about the error uh, in their eBay ad and ironically I know they did respond and I noticed that they no longer uh, list the 55B as compatible with this particular decal set. So I put the decals on and use some decal setting solution to uh, get them to adhere a little bit better. So here's all the pieces uh, ready for assembly. Uh, the base plate was in pretty good condition so I didn't do anything with that except chrome, ter uh, chrome tip the ends of the axles. The windscreen I cleaned up. It has a small crack in the windshield. Uh, nothing worth uh, losing any sleep over and I cleaned up the little uh, beacon using uh, wet sanding it with uh, really fine sandpaper and then dipping it in floor shine and the interior I just cleaned with soapy water and uh, I did clear coat you can kind of see a little extra shine on the body I did clear coat over the decals on the body I probably should have recorded more of this but I have to tell you, uh, the paint thing had me so frustrated that uh, at one point I was just about ready to call it quits on this thing and I just didn't shoot a lot of it. So uh, I apologize for that because I know that's something that a lot of people like to watch but uh, this is as good as it's going to get on this one I'm afraid. So let's take a look again at where I started. Uh, the paint was a little faded and a little chipped. Uh, the decals were pretty much destroyed. The one on the hood was missing altogether. Uh, the windows were pretty dirty. Uh, all in all, it was a casting that was in need of sprucing up. And now let's take a look at where I finally wound up. The Matchbox, number 55B, 1963. Ford Fairlane police car. I have to be honest, I don't consider this to be uh, my best result. Uh, I wasn't happy with how it was taped off, so save your comments there. Uh, but I was really happy with how the paint turned out. I think I matched it pretty close. So anyway, this is Time Rider at Chapter 4, and I'll leave the light on for you. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and I have another one in the works. Hopefully I'll have it up by the weekend. Be safe.